journey that that God has brought us through um, not knowing where all of this would lead to I just think back man at times when we were young Brian and I we would sing but we didn't like getting in front of people uh, we didn't like singing with the church groups we didn't even like the church songs and that style of singing and when we sing we want to sing Jackson 5. Yeah, then we met brother Bush and brother Ivory and and the Birmingham Sunlights and that yeah. blew us away because I mean they they were a small group with a contemporary sound. They didn't have a count, but they always encouraged us. Right. They had time and, to, to to teach us uh, and help us with, with our craft. And they had a stage for us. They had a stage for us. Always. And that's that's what the camp is about. That's what we want to provide for these young people. So I'm watching the Johnsons. Their mom and daddy are trying to leave, but they got somewhere to be. Kids keep disappearing. <laughs> Every time they find one, the rest of them go away. They made friends. They just experienced everything that the camp brings, just like everyone else. And so they're like begging and crying. Not, they don't want to go. Because you guys start school. <laughs> don't want to leave. Just, just leave them. We'll send them back. The heart of the message of what we gotta pass on to the next generation when we come down to congregation singing, worship leading, and things like that. I think the next level is going back to the basics. Keep it sincere here. You're not up there to say, okay, my turn, this song is going down. I'm going to slam this church today. I'm getting ready to show these folks that I got some skills. I've been listening to Tyree. I've been listening to Usher. Man, watch these runs. Watch me blaze this trail. It's not about that. Please, if I can urge you to do anything, keep it sincere. Sometimes our lives go down. We need something to do. What's up? That's your job. People walk through those doors on Sunday mornings, they are down, distraught, lost a loved one. Hello? That's another one. Impale. To urge. You want to urge. That's what songs do. 
urge him, get your life right. Serve God. He's true. He's loving. He's kind. This is why we serve him, because he brought me out. All these things that we're saying, we are ministering, teaching. He's mighty. He's mighty. He's mighty. He's mighty. He's mighty. So I'm telling you, this is the group that I think can change not only the nation, but the whole entire world. I'm telling you, it's so powerful right in this room. He's He's God first, never about you. Keep it, keep it silent. I promise you, God is depending on you. This is the group. I'm gonna put a charge on you right here. I commit to being God's vessel. To be in God's vessel. Don't say it unless you mean it. To teach and admonish. To teach and admonish those who need Him. Those who need Him in this world. In this world. And in the body of Christ. And in the body of Christ. All right. I think singing is for everybody, guys and girls. Um, I just remember seeing uh, Camp grow from 2011, my first year coming to the tennis section. It was probably like 10 to 15 people at best, and like each year it's grown, but just um, seeing how many guys that are my age that come here and aren't ashamed to sing, aren't ashamed to sing in front of people and minister and um, sing songs to God, that's inspiring to me. <laughs> I like the uh, the recap game. Uh, what you got? I, I love the way Jerome Jerome picked with him about you know the guys winning and the girls winning. Make some noise, guys! All right, make the song. What? I'm rooting for the girls and hope they they be cued in, man, on everything so they can bring it this yeah, year. Yeah. What must a good lead be first? Is that okay? All right, what's the answer? The girls usually win. A good background singer. Not the guys. The guys usually win. I think so. I don't know. Do you, do you want to give the guys a chance to give a better answer? The top record. What was the title of the song that went with my lesson? Oh, my name was at the Sydney, you try. Yes. <laughs> Bless your heart. General session. The guys have a chance to steal. Guys, listen, turn. Y'all listen to the question. You rooting for the girls? I think these guys. About come to on, they, 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 come on, come on, guys. I saw the pranks and Discussion is real good because you you can hear the heart of these young people. Yeah. Uh, impact. Yes, ma'am. Um, I just feel like our generation is so filled with doubt. Like, if each person feels like, well, um, I might not be able to, and I can't do this, and I can't do that. I was raised that you need to speak things into existence. These young people, they do more than sing. They they are spiritually inclined. We're going against the world. We're Christians. 
So even though it looks like a lot of people in here, there are millions of people in the world. And if they're all coming this way, and we're one by one going against the grain, then we can have exactly that. We can do exactly that. Change doesn't happen overnight. Impact doesn't happen overnight. The other day I was reading and I read something that says uh, the people who believe they can change the world are the ones who actually do it. Preparation plus opportunity, that's something worth sharing, <laughs> equals success. This week in, this week has been preparation. So I'm, I'm going to challenge you right now. Everybody, all of y'all out there, close your eyes so you can't see what somebody else is saying. My question to you, how many of you are going to commit right now to never watch Empire again? Watching stuff on TV is a struggle. Okay, don't, don't open your eyes. Homosexuality, your eyes. the language, okay, and um, different stuff like that can you know influence what the you. Is? Only about 20 of you said that you would. That's a problem. Next question. How many, keep your eyes closed. How many of you are going to stop, you're going to delete today names out of your phone that hinder you? Okay, hands down. Keep your eyes closed, hands down. Many of you said that you're going to do that today, and I expect to see some phones out when this session is over, and I expect to see some delete buttons push today. All right. Next. Everybody group. give a shout out to Steve and Shannon Adams. Shout out. Sierra, Steve Adams, and them daughter. Her birthday is her birthday is Thursday, right? I remember Steve Adams when he uh, turned 60 yeah. years old. 50, man. 50. So I want to do something special for her, right? Went down to Houston, Texas, just to surprise him on his birthday. Yeah. Uh, we're going to surprise his daughter. I mean, she came down here on her birthday. I want everybody in here to give this girl one dollar. A piece. To be here, it was a she birthday. She left her mom and daddy. Left her mom and daddy. <laughs> I got a dollar from Uncle Jerome. Just let's go. Let's go. Happy What they did for me, like I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that at all. They gave me about one hundred thirty-seven dollars. Well, my mom, I haven't talked to them about it, so then they'll ask for my money. The music camp is more than just singing. Right. Uh, we really want to impress upon the young people that we should have a giving spirit. Uh, one year we did the thing for uh, the video for Sandy Hook. Right, right, exactly. Uh, one year we blessed a young girl named Kennedy. Uh, right, that's true. Uh, that's very sick. And, uh, we raised money for her. This year, we will be reaching out to one of camp's very own, right. Leah Hope. Leah Hope. She's not going to see this coming. My plans for art are to go to Kansas City, Missouri for um, the Kansas City Art Institute. Yeah. She's been just really determined to go to this school and I'm like, this school costs a whole lot of money. <laughs> After that, I want to be an art professor in college. And so I was like, well, Leah, why don't you, you know, stay here? You could do this and Absolutely UBS, ha you know. She was like, it is not an option. I'm not doing that. And um, I think that I might pursue music because I've always, I mean, I love music. So I think that I want to teach it too. And I'm thinking to myself, well, how, how are we going to do it? And I ain't never seen uh, self portrait so dead on. I know. I haven't either. I'm talking about the eyes. I was looking at the, the paintings and wondering if she painted them from a picture or if she 
Like she literally sat there in front of the mirror. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. she's been taught to to draw from life. Oh wow! And this is what she did to me. Wow! Just when I was just sitting there, this was about a couple hours. Just sitting there. Looks just like it does. Yes. Wow! <laughs> she's so talented. We just did that real quick. Yeah. We're so excited about appreciating John Poo Malone Jr. One of the hardest things is to do is to do this without Poo knowing it. <laughs> That's the hardest thing because he's involved in everything. So you guys get around, you guys sneak around here and sneak around there. No matter what you're going through. I can't believe it. It's the 2015 YVMC and I ain't there. I'm looking on Facebook, seeing all this stuff they got going on. To send you guys um, a message. When it comes to us communicating with our kids and youth in the millennial age, I think it's very, very important that we are very candid with them. What's up all y'all in YVMC land? I am so sad that I didn't get to be with you. I'm very, very candid with my three girls who are 14, 16, and 18. I tell them straightforward. I talk to them about sex. I talk to them about boys. I talk to them about everything. Because if I don't tell them, I believe that the world will show them what I don't tell them. And I just have a question for you. Yeah, you. I have a question for you. Who are you? Who are you? I'm talking about who are you, the person that we don't see. I'm she's real and yes. she gets real with I'm those young people about you that looks all cute and you that has your nails done and you that's dressed to perfection i'm talking about the ugly you who are you do you look like christ and do you do you look like a child of the most high? one thing about carol you know we let, young people have issues just like like old people adults have issues and they are real issues and we can't we can't be afraid to address those issues somebody's here dealing with not only abuse but because of the abuse like tiffany said you are dealing with sexual confusion it happens. Just because we're in the Church of Christ does not mean that our young ladies and our young men do not struggle with homosexuality or bisexuality. Yeah. It's real. And we don't want you to leave here feeling like that's okay. But we also don't want you to leave here feeling like you don't have any sin. Well, one thing about it is, you, it's going to be hard for people, that, these young people, to minister to others if they haven't been ministered to themselves. I think they have to really allow Jesus to work inside of them and heal them first before they can really reach out and heal other people. I think once they get that, I think it's powerful, I think. Everything that's happened this weekend is to help you identify with who God wants you to be. And it begins with you understanding and believing that you have been made for excellence. I know that when I went, I was like, oh, it's just a second camp, but when I went up there, I was like, Oh, this is more than a thing. Kind of, this is a ministry. Like they are moving you, so they are teaching you to move forward with your life. One, because the king said, I want you to feed them what we eat, because I want them to become like us. And Daniel said, I'm not eating what y'all eat. I'm not indulging in what y'all indulge in. Like when I came back home, a lot of my friends, they was like, what, What's been going on with you lately? What, what's all this Christian stuff about? Yeah. And he said, Look, I, I promise you this. You do what you want to do. I'm going to follow God. And I promise you at the end of it, I'm going to look better than you do. So I had to move. I had Legos, Legos and friends. I had zero friends because all of them was trying to get me to go the devil's route. And God was like, It's time for them to go. So they gone. I was like, And it's okay if like, I lose friends off the back of this because I got a whole circle of friends. They might not be in Louisville, but I got a whole circle of friends that are striving towards excellence just like I am. And if they with me, then hey, I'm good. See, if your friend is looking, or if your friend is going to walk, stop worrying about your friend. And if you walk, they'll walk. Don't worry about what everybody else in here is doing tonight. You need to worry about yourself. Do you want to be better? Praise the Lord. Somebody needs to stand up and say, I'm not worried about nobody else. God, I want your attention. I want your favor. I want to be better. I want to be different. I want to stand out.
man, that was awesome. I've never seen something so impactful. You know, whenever you see youth crying over a message, a powerful, man, that's serious. We have three precious souls that wants to put Christ on in baptism. Five baptisms from our youth group ministry, man, and just this has been one of the best experiences of my life personally. We want to give a love deposit for Kelty, making this greatest decision of his life. Well, uh, the preacher that preached on the two nights, the first night I was kind of hesitant about it because I, I just had to think about it and I talked to my uncle. Repentance believer, the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. For the remission of his sins. Amen. <laughs> the singing, all of that, the workshop, this is what it's all about. It's saving souls and changing lives. Off the jump off, yep. straight to the music camp. Yeah, rolling through the dirty bank and infusion, my music amp. Oh, rolling through yeah. the dirty bank and committed my music amp. Oh, trying to be yeah. the next J Malone before I leave the camp. Oh,